Hello once again Aaronet, it's me Carmen, and in this video, I want to talk a little bit about myself. I'm getting selfish for a moment, no, I'm just kidding. What I'm getting to will all come together. As a person, my whole life, I've always dealt with some sort of anxiety, stress, I think most people do. It's a normal part of life, at least to a certain extent. You wake up, you're worried about that assignment, you're worried about going to work, what's going to happen. And I'm not saying like that rules your day, I'm just saying like it might be there in the back of your mind. Even if you're like the happiest person on earth, you might be like, well I have to go to work, I have to do A, B, and C. I had a lot of moments where I'd get overwhelmed with this anxiety or overwhelmed with the stress going on in my life. Sometimes I broke down, sometimes I had rough days. And I'm not saying that in a way like it just happens to me. I know it's not something unique to my own person. I know it doesn't happen like that for everyone, but I know I'm certainly not the only one. I'm not here to make a special case today. The reason I'm talking about this is because I think a lot of people in this world, we feel like we're alone. And you have to think about human psychology. Humans want to be in groups. Some people do want to be alone. Some people are very introverted, but I think no matter what, most of us want to be a part of some sort of group. We all want to contribute to something and be a part of something. And I think that's where some of our stress and anxiety comes from. Because we want to fit in on some sort of level. I think this gets better as you get older usually, but even then, you still want to be a part of this group. You might not be trying to fit in with the cool kids anymore after you're graduated from high school and working a job, but you're still trying to be a part of society. You don't want to deviate from the norm. Oh, what, what would happen if I did this? And usually for most of us, it's an unconscious thing. But I think our norms hold us back. I think that we get so stuck in thinking what is normal and what is the right thing to do that we forget about what the right thing actually is to do and we forget about the real important things on the inside. I know this topic's kind of scattered all over the place, but the point I'm trying to make is that we have to open our minds to the things going on in the world around us. And I'm not ordering you to, I'm like, hey, you open your mind, I'm the mind police, I'm going to tell you what to do with your head. No, it's not like that. I'm simply saying that we all need to step back sometimes and think about what's going on in the world around us. Think about ourselves, think about the people we're around, not in a negative way, just in a critical way. Where we say, okay, this is the situation, and we look at it from the outside. Now, how do we do this? And this is something where I'm not really sure what the ultimate answer is. But for me, it's been good to at least just step back and think about it, like, honestly. Like, think about it as if I was looking at myself from another person's perspective. Like, I could see all of my thoughts, everything in my mind, but I'm not looking at it from the voice of Carmen Shields. I'm looking at it as an outsider, someone who doesn't have any stake in the situation, someone who just came along out of the blue and doesn't have any bias towards it. Obviously, this isn't the perfect response because technically we are still ourselves, but it helps to visualize this, I think, because we get so caught up in our own sphere of thought, we forget even about the possibilities that exist within our realm of perception. And this has helped me in a lot of situations, like... I sometimes get caught up in my own certain thoughts like thinking, oh, I'm right about this topic and this is why, without considering all the other perspectives. This is something that everyone does to a certain extent. We forget about other perspectives because we are so caught up in our own worldview. Well, and that doesn't matter what it is. I don't care what your worldview is. We all have a bias towards our own worldview. When we do start to think about things from a multitude of perspectives, that gives us a chance to open up and be more free in the world, which takes some of the anxiety and stress off our shoulders. And this is a convoluted topic to talk about, but it's been something that's really been on my mind, especially lately. I feel like I see a lot of people around me trying to be a part of a certain thing, like, oh, I'm a part of this group, I'm a part of this group, I'm a part of this group, when in reality, the world isn't really divided into groups. In reality, we're all human beings. We're all flesh and blood. If I tear back my skin, I know kind of gross, uh... <laughs> gross imagery there, you're going to find the same flesh you find in anyone else. And I think that's what we forget about. We need to remember we are all ultimately on the same team, even if it doesn't seem like it. And I might get some hate for saying that, but it's the truth. We're all human beings surviving and existing together on this earth, and we all have to see the value 
that we all have on this planet. We have to always be aiming for a new perspective. And I guess you could say that's the importance of new perspectives is that they let us open our minds up to new possibilities. I'm still working on this myself. Like after the election last year, y'all may have seen my video about the new president. I am not a fan of this administration, but even though I might not agree with what they're doing, I have to go look at what everyone else is saying, whether it's the liberal, like hardcore left Democrats, the Republicans, the libertarians. This is just one example. Everyone gets heated on politics. I also want to be critical. I want to say, why do these people feel the way they do? Why does every group feel the way they do? Even if I don't agree with them, even if somewhere in my heart it makes my blood boil. For a second, I need to breathe in like, and think to myself, why does this seem totally crazy to me and seem totally sane to someone else? And I think that's an important thing for us all to think about, no matter where our viewpoints are in the world on any topic, anything, politics, that's just one example. That's something that affects our lives only but so much. There are so many things going on in the world, whether it's on the micro scale or macro, that affect us every day that we're loyal and passionate about, that we divide ourselves up into instead of realizing it doesn't matter if Republican or Democrat or an American or an Iranian, we're all in this together at the end of the day. And I think that's the important message. And I feel kind of corny saying that, even though it is true. The reason I feel corny is because we live in a world that makes us feel so different. Like saying this, you are not genuine. I'm trying to say it genuinely. I don't think it's something that anyone can totally say genuinely because we have certain unconscious biases in our minds. But I think it's something that we need to start at. It's okay to have bias. But I think the problem is, is when we can't admit we have the bias. It's one thing to have the bias and try to work on it. But it's another thing to just say, we're never going to fix this. Why should we even care about this? And I think to me, that's just kind of problematic. That's just my two cents though. I'm just making these videos to make you guys think you don't have to agree with me. I don't expect everyone to agree with me. We live in a world where we should all have the right to our own opinion. But I do want to hear what you guys have to think in the comments. What do you think about different perspectives? Do you try to think about things in your own life or things happening around you from multiple perspectives and how do you get yourself into someone else's head let me know what you think in the comments below this video really just touched the surface and it's basically the unorganized ramblings of an eyebrowed guy but thank you for watching if you guys like this video be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this i have a lot more content coming your guys way soon Anyways, I hope you guys have a good one, and peace out, everyone.